Hi, this is CJ Ellison, and we're back again with today's lesson, which is going to be how to set up a group. Now, starting from my home feed, the new, you know, the home page news feed wall, I'm coming down here to where it says groups, and I'm going to click more. Immediately, the page comes up with all the groups I'm a part of. Some people uh, add me to groups. After a, a polite period of time, I will drop out, but because <laughs> there's really only so many you can handle. Okay, here we're going to create a group. Group name. This one's going to be called the uh, Author Coach Training Group. Who do you want to add? You always have to add someone, and I know my best friend is uh, super supportive and doesn't mind if I add her to stuff. Right now, this group is going to be closed. Open means anyone can join it, anyone can come in it at any time. Uh, I would not like to do a group like that. You're just going to get a lot of people coming in. It might be getting a lot of spam. These groups that we're setting up, it could be an alpha reading group where they're reading your work as you're writing it. It could be a beta reading group where you're, they're reading your work after an editor has. It could, be, um, it could be a street team group. It could be something that's just for your peers, a book club group, anything. I've got a bunch of them set up. Uh, I think closed is the best way because people are coming in who are interested. It, right here it says anyone can see the group and who's in it. Only members can see posts. That's important to remember. When you're doing these and you're putting your work out there, a lot of people panic like, well, wait a minute, I put the first couple chapters of my book up there. Can anyone read it? No. Only people in the group can, can read the posts. Secret. This doesn't even show up if someone searches about it. And that's okay too. Um, I think I've done one or two like that, but I don't do them like that anymore. We're going to create the group. Ooh, I get to pick an icon. There's way too many to pick from. Do you see one with books? Because my eyesight is... That looks like a book. Yeah, we're going to pick that one. Okay. Author Coach Training Group. Look, it's me and Boone. We're the only members. Pretty soon you guys will be here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to set up our About section. Right here, add a description of the group. I have conveniently prepared one already. It's nice when I actually, you know, do things like I should. Okay, and we're going to post it in there. This group is used solely for training other authors to be proficient in utilizing all the features in a Facebook group. After each class, all of the members will be removed for the next batch of students. Please look around and click away. You can't break anything and experimenting is encouraged. If you guys want to come in and, you know, edit the description, you can do that. Now, when you each come into the group, I'm going to make you admins on the group so that you can see the freedom that you have and what you can do in it when it's your own group. I'm not worried about anybody deleting something by mistake uh, or messing something up. Everything can be fixed. It's pretty basic. With your own groups, I recommend if you have an assistant, making them an admin, or maybe you have some readers who have, a, if it's a book club, who want to be moderators, you can make them an admin. An admin basically can... Um, can approve people to join the group and they can ban people, they can take things off the wall, they can do uh, a lot of cleanup for you in moderation. So uh, right here, this is where we can make the selection. Remove as an admin, remove from group. Now over here for Boone, I'm going to make her an admin. She'll be able to edit the group settings, remove members, and give other members admin status. We're going to make her an admin. And I'm sure Boone is getting these notices while she's in between editing and wondering what the heck I'm up to. Okay. Uh, up here, you can have a cover image on your group. Tons of people don't even know that they can do that. Uh, I already have the dimensions, and they're going to be coming up on the screen for you shortly. I'm going to upload an image that I have already designed for the group, and and then put it up. What is that one? Here we go, the author coach training group. It's nice that you have something that's cohesive for your group. You know, you don't have to. Some people who aren't really good at uh, at designing images, they, they feel like they've got to hire somebody for everything. You could use your book cover and kind of crop it or move it around a little bit. I just think it adds a nice professionalism to it, a nice little touch. Okay. Everyone is going to have homework, and so I'm going to walk through every step. The first one where you saw that I came into the About section where you can see more and you can edit the description. I want you guys to access this and see what it is I'm talking about. Uh, I want you to also play with the fact that you can make people admins. I don't want you to remove anyone from the group, but you're welcome to play around with it. I'll be making you all admins. If anyone who uh, removes me from the group, I'm not going to be very happy with you, so please don't do that. <laughs> 
Before we move on to the other tabs, I want to go over the uh, one of the settings here, how you can customize it. We're going to do Edit Group Settings. Group Name, Author Coach Training Group. You can change that at any time. Okay, so here we're going to set up the group address. Author, Coach, and we're just going to call it a Training Group, TG. There we go. Now it's called this is the address, author co groups, author training, I'm sorry, Facebook groups, author coach TG, author coach TG at groups.facebook.com is where you would email it. Isn't that pretty cool? So you can email from your phone or whatever. You don't have to actually be here. We're going to save it. Oh, also, go through these screens to make sure you're comfortable with them. Any member can add or approve members. Any member can add members, but admin must approve them. I prefer that setting so that people aren't just automatically adding people to my group without me knowing it. And then all posts must be approved by an admin. I don't do that, but I'm guessing if you're doing something special that would be good to do, or only administrators can post. Again, that might be for a special reason. I don't need it that way, but you know, if you're setting your own group up for how you want, you might want it. All right, you can create an event right here in the group. If I create an event here, uh, let's just say uh, first day of class details show up and experiment with features and I'm able to say where I'm gonna make it this Facebook group at a time this is a lot of like what you're gonna be doing on the other one which is pretty interesting. Our class doesn't start until July 8th and this lesson is scheduled for the 11th so I'm going to put that there. Add time. Uh, we'll just say noon. There we go. And the end time will be 10 o'clock at night. Do you notice here where it says click to change the time zone of this event or add a place that's important I'm not going to be doing a time zone but you know it, right now it's Eastern it's gonna stay there we're gonna cancel that well I guess I can't cancel it so I'm just gonna say New York well I'll just make it my hometown Sterling VA Wow which doesn't even seem to show up Potomac Falls VA. Okay, good enough. Privacy. Author coach training group or public. If you make this public, then that means that they can come in here. Friends of guests. That's another nice option. Invite only. So maybe if you want to do something special that isn't public for everyone, you could do one of these options. I prefer everything to be on my public page rather than here in the group. If you're trying to get more readers in your group or up the readership participation like for a book club or something, that might be a good way to do it. Friends of guests or invite only or public. But like I said, I like to do it all off my author page. Okay, so create. Now I've created an event. I can put a, a picture up here as well. I already have an event that I want to do. Well, we'll do it at the same one. Uh, it's the same event photo that we're going to be using on the on the second video, the author coach training event. Okay, save changes. I've already done the uh, dimensions for this, and again, the dimensions will come up on the screen. Please write them down, but they will also be in the text version of this class. Okay. There are a bunch of features here that I'm going to cover in the event training module, not here, because this is only one aspect of groups and I'd rather we get back to groups. So I'm going to go here for the author coach training group, go back to it. Okay, so here we are with events. You're able to see that we have the one event coming up Thursday, July 11th, 2013. And over here with photos, we have our one photo that we have put up so far. You are able to create um, albums in here but a group has a maximum of six albums so depending upon what you're using the group for such as if this is for your street team you might want to have your book covers all in one wall photos might all be in one book uh, street teams can be pretty active with wanting to post information about uh, their ideas about the book or about their characters who they like or just funny stuff that they're sharing so that stuff will all wind up down and through here and you can edit what's seen and what isn't seen 
Over here for files. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to your homework. Everyone needs to upload a photo. Your choices are to do it from here, from the photo tab, or do it from here on the main page when you're posting something. Add photo or video. I want you to try it. Everyone should try it. Add a file. There's two ways to add a file, and I want you to practice on both. You can click here where it says add a file to from the computer, and I have the sample post that I did in the previous video, which was uh, examples of what you could post on someone's wall or send in a very short pri a private message to someone to get them to possibly share an upcoming sale, anything like that. Okay, the reason we're going to do this from several different uh, avenues is I want you to see what each one looks like. So, sample post right here. Someone can preview it, they can download it, and I can upload a revision. I would like everyone in the group to come in and try to upload a document. It can be an empty document. You can say testing one, two, three in your document. The whole point is for you to feel comfortable with every aspect of groups. Now, the next step is I want you to come to files and you'll see where yours, the one I just uploaded is here and you know everyone else in the class. And then we're going to have create a doc, which is different from upload a file. Uh, the reason I want you to understand the differences is if you upload a file here and anyone in your group can download it and then use it if it's a Word doc or whatever it is that you're uploading. If you're creating a doc, somebody needs to go to a bit more work with highlighting the whole screen and right clicking to copy it and then pasting it into another document. I'm stressing this because if you ever decide to form a group for alpha readers, I, I really think it's most important that you put a document up using this feature, create a doc rather than going through where you're actually putting up a file here, a file that could potentially be downloaded and shared. The uh, Right here, I'm going to have here a sample of create doc. And this is my sample. I want everyone, and I'm going to put my name here, C.J. Ellison. I want everyone to experiment with this sample of create a doc. Everyone in class for your homework and the homework is going to be shown on the screen so it's easy for you. Everyone needs to come into this sample of create a doc and see it, it comes up this is all you see and you're going to edit it and when you edit it you're going to put your sample. Next line Boone Brooks. Oops yeah I can spell. By the way I'm a really bad typist so forgive me. Okay uh, Boone Brooks. Now, everyone here in class, your names will show up here because you guys will be coming in, editing this document, and making your changes. I have worked with a lot of readers and writers who've reported to me these edit functions are not always available on a phone. I know from first-hand experience you cannot edit a document here on your iPad. That means you're going to need to use a laptop. Uh, I know that's a bit of an inconvenience for some people, but you'll see how this can really be valuable down the line where you're having people that can come in and edit a document. Alright, let's go back to the group and to bullet point really quick, we have learned how to create a group, how to fill out the about section, how to do an event in the group, how to post photos in the group, and how to upload files. Your homework is to do every single one of these. Come in here and check out the about section. You can alter it, change it, whatever you want. I want you to try doing an event with your name on it. I want you to do um, upload a photo and I want you to upload two different types of files. Remember, one's going to be like this, sample post or you know, a document you've uploaded, one's going to be in the create a doc. We also have ideas of, right here with the event. I want to see events from every single person in the class and you see that I have uploaded a photo. So the examples have been set here. Uh, you'll see I'm going to give you a link to the class and when you come on to the Facebook page by following the link, there'll be a spot over here on the right where it says request to join. You're going to have to request to join. I can invite you all by email, but I'm not going to do that because I, and I'm not going to add you to the group because I want you to see what your readers are going to be seeing and how your readers are going to be functioning within this group so that you're able to instruct them later on where the request to join button is. Would you like me to add you? You know, you saw me add Boone before, but I can also add Amy Atwell. She's with Author EMS, and that's where the, these training videos are first going to be shown before they go to the Author Coach website that's launched this fall. All right, I believe we've covered everything here. If you have any questions, I know there probably are going to be some. We can cover them in the forum that's going to be associated for the class with the students, and I'm happy to answer any of your questions. You do see some functionality here with Ask Question. It's similar to the ones that you see on your Facebook author page. You can ask a question in the group. 
Maybe that should be the last one that we do. How do you like the class so far? And add poll options. You guys can be the ones to add your own poll options. So you would put on here, add an option, and you would fill it out. We could have people, you know, talk about how much you like the class and if you think if you're learning something or if that CJ chick is crazy batty and going way too fast, you know, just let me know. And that way I can adjust my videos for the next time I teach. Thanks a lot and have a good evening, everyone. Enjoy your homework.